Did you speak to Tupac when he was in Vegas? No, no. He was in an induced coma the whole time. The nurses told me. So, so I got the luxury when I sat that 12 to 8. The outlaws were usually in a car outside, and I was in the ER waiting room. So the nurse would come out and give me uh, progress reports. And there was this big, fat, white lady that was the nurse the first three, four nights. She came out one night. She's like, oh, that Tupac of yours, he's, uh, he's a fighter. I'm like, what happened? He's like, we almost lost him. Gave him 500 cc's and whatever and came right back too. But then she said that he was in an induced coma because each time that he came to, he'd want to pull his plugs out and get out of bed. I was like, that's crazy. And she said, gunshot victims wake up at the, at the scene of the crime. So that's what they do. So she said he was in an induced coma the whole time. I went in on the fifth night and I, I, I didn't feel comfortable going in any time before that because it was the family and outlaws and Tracy had gone a bunch of times, but for whatever reason, the fifth night, it was like two, three in the morning. <clears throat> the nurse said, you haven't seen him yet? I was like, no. She said, why don't you come see your friend? So I went in and um, immediately what f***ed me up was his head was twice the size. So the nurse had said he had water water on the brain and his and his head was swollen, right? And then Everywhere that there was a, a a gunshot was covered with gauze, and he was naked except a, a little uh, um, sheet covering his privates. But like the finger was gone, you know, there was just a little bandage there. It was fucked up, bro. Um, I just walked up to him. I put my hand on his arm. It's ice cold. I said a prayer. And then I walked out, and that was the last time I saw him alive. Wow, man. And I always heard from the people that I spoke to and the people that I interviewed that, you know, Tupac would have survived. He would have never been the same Tupac. He would have never been able to rap anymore. I don't agree with that. Oh, you don't? No. Why? 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 Tupac is missing a lung. He had everything else. I know a lot of motherfuckers with one lung that could survive and that could rap and do whatever the fuck they want. Tupac was a beast, bro. Tupac was a fucking beast. Had he lived? Yeah, all right. Motherfucker would, he was missing some shit, like a finger and a lung. I don't think, I don't think, no, hell no. God rest her soul, Afeni Shakur in an interview once said, Tupac would never bend his knee for no man. I don't think, had he survived, he might have changed his ways real quick, but he was in the process of doing that. He still would have been a fucking beast, bro.